In this video, we're going to have a look at the fourth principles of readable documents, which is information structure. And you need to focus on giving people a right structure to follow when they're reading your document because that makes a great difference for the speed of reading, speed of discovery in the document, but also gives as accessibility and what's sometimes been called the Google juice. That is, your search, the search engines prefer well-structured documents, structures, documents that have the, the right information structure. So uh, here are three very simple principles, very easy to follow, that you should think about when you're writing your documents or when you're editing them to make sure that they are more accessible, more readable, and in general more inclusive. And uh, the, the, the very simple uh, thing you can do first is make sure that the important information is always first and the background is last. You should also always show the outline of the text so that people get a sense of what the overall structure is. But of course, you can also, the text itself can be uh, structured much more simply, just simply by using shorter sentences. So let's have a look at some examples of, uh, of, re of readable text. So this is an article from the Daily Mail, and many of the online tabloids actually do a very good job of making sure that their text is accessible to their re readers. So for example, you can see there's sort of a summary of the text at the very front in a, the, a long, long title. And, uh, but what they start with is an outline of the key points that you need to know about the text. And that both gives some people the opportunity to decide not to read because they have all the right information, or will also uh, let them uh, get a sense of what's coming, sort of a pre-reading activity. And that is really important that people, when they're coming to your text, they already can have a sense of what's coming, so not everything is new. And they can better process the information that you really want them to know. And, uh, but if you zoom in further, we're going to see that at the very beginning of, uh, the, 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 uh, of the article, it almost repeats, uh, repeats what's in the title. It says the most important uh, things in the very first two paragraphs. And uh, that is why it's important. But of course, sometimes your readers may want to know a lot about some of the background that is also important. And, and so that is all left for the end. So you can see there's quite a bit about the history of, of British Steel, which is, which is what the article is about, uh, going all the way back to the 1980s. So, so they are not depriving their readers of background information, but that all comes at the very end. And very often when uh, we are writing documents, we, we like to start with the background because we want to make sure that we give people all the context they need. And sometimes it's very easy to fix a document simply by moving the first paragraph or two to the end or simply switching the first and second paragraph. So, so have a look at your documents and see maybe they might benefit uh, from, from that. Now, uh, one of the things that, as you can see, the Daily Mail article is not doing is that they don't actually use very short sentences. They, I'm using this Hemingway editor uh, to, to, to check the, the readability. As, as you can see, there are quite a lot of their sentences are quite long. I mean, there's one paragraph per sentence, but they can get away with maybe not using very simple language simply by uh, using good information structure. And with that, uh, let's talk about simple language in uh, the next video.